So today I was getting ready to head out to lunch, and a thought grabbed me. I've known several people over my life who seem to be really interested in being famous. I guess I should probably move that stuff out of the way there. Um, and I'm trying to understand that drive. Um, and I think it it's a lot of different drives that come together. Uh, well, rather, it's a lot of different drives that come together to produce similar behavior, but not, but that don't, uh, in an underlying way, have connections to each other. We see some people who have an interest in fame because of what it will let them do. And it's easy to understand people who want it for career opportunities. If you're famous and you're an actor, that's going to help you a lot. It's, it's kind of important to have a certain amount of being known to people in order to get uh, casted in things. Get cast in things? Uh, whatever. Um, and I guess I, I can empathize with that kind of desire for fame. There's even, to a certain extent, a use for that for people who are not professionally benefiting because it'll let them take part in conversations that they, that they would either get happiness out of or where they think that they could productively contribute. Um, if I were famous, which I probably don't really want, um, but if I were, I suspect that I would be able to take part in public conversations to a greater degree. I would be invited maybe onto podcasts where we could talk philosophy, and I think I would like that. Uh, there might be workshops, might be other opportunities to speak in ways where it wouldn't just be one person talking to a microphone and that's the end of it. Uh, that's essentially what, what I have right now, by the way. Um, I produce YouTube videos and occasionally things on Twitch, stuff like that. I don't really expect most of the time to hear back from anybody. Very occasionally I'll hear back from one or two people. And that's okay. I, I'm doing this mostly for myself at this point. But I would probably do it more often if it led to frequent interesting conversations and maybe uh, led to having some people in my life where I could have these kinds of conversations more often. That would be cool if we had a like an, if I had an effective way to grab the attention of interesting people and pull them into my life. But that's a very functional thing. And that's not all that I've seen, or at least not all that I think I've seen when people want fame. Uh, there are some people I follow on Twitter, um, a fairly small number of them, where they seem desperate for a certain kind of attention. And there, I think, you see more of a psychological thing going on there. They, they need to see themselves as being famous in some cases. In other cases, I suspect that there's something they want to do with their fame, but they're but we've already talked about that. So I think for some people, they feel that the public in general acts as a kind of person in their life and they want to please that person. They want to be meaningful to that person, even though it's really not an individual person. And I imagine this is not necessarily unique to, um, influencers, you might have at some point in the past had monarchs, lords, people uh, people like that, who probably dating back to ancient times, maybe religious leaders, uh, who see themselves as having a flock, and they want to build a flock and keep a flock, and the flock acts as a kind of collective person. Because I think we, we personify regularly things that aren't people. It's a human tendency. Um, you get angry at a computer, and some people I've known have kicked their computer when it didn't do what they want. We personify cars. Um, uh, we uh, anthropomize. I think that was the word that I was looking for, and it didn't quite come to mind in time. But 
I think we're actually pretty good at uh, this weird mental trait, uh, uh, mental trick of assigning personhood to things that aren't uh, personhood to think uh, things that aren't human. And like sometimes it's just as silly a thing as like a shower curtain will not stay where you want it to. And you feel this need to teach the shower curtain a lesson because people are ridiculous and we have this trade and uh, and we might we tend to punish. We tend to think in, about everything in terms of shaping behavior and it could be something as abstract as rain. So I think that for a lot of people, a desire for fame is a desire to talk to that abstract notion of the, the personified masses that 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 person has in their head. Um, they want to be liked by that uh, notion of the masses, etc. Et um, so there can be a psychological need. There's also being famous probably lets you be the center of attention a lot more often. And that fills other needs where people maybe don't feel that they're getting enough attention in life. And I'd, I also can't blame this particular thing. I, I think a, there are a lot of lonely people out there who don't get much attention uh, in life. The majority of their, their time is spent alone uh, or maybe just as part of a large crowd. And it can be nice to, to be seen as meaningful and important, at least sometimes. If the strive is too strong, then people might need it far beyond what other people do. And that need for attention can lead to a lot of really weird behavior. And I think a lot of activists uh, have this kind of thing going on. But I think that's that covers a lot of the ground for fame. I think the, the downside is that if, if people get enough of it, Particularly if they if they start to have a lot of that um, interaction with uh, with the public in general, which they they've personified down into the idea of being a, a, a person, uh, almost like a fully fledged person, um, it it could be an addictive thing. It can certainly lead to behavior that will drive a lot of the real people out of their lives uh, because it feels a little alien to have people around you who are chasing fame. It means that they often won't have time for real people in their lives. Um, maybe this is another one of those weird tricks of human psychology where we can sometimes productively, often not, move ourselves out of the mainstream enough where we dedicate ourselves to a certain kind of purpose that makes it hard to act as general humans. I think, again, political leaders in the past probably did it as a scientist and as somebody who's also been a computer person uh, for a lot of my career. I'm kind of dig through a lot of uh, overlapping um, grounds here career-wise. But as somebody who's done that kind of thing, I, and, and as also as somebody I, I uh, see myself as a philosopher, but as somebody who does these things, you're going into unusual mental ground that takes you away from the way that most people live. You're, by personifying things that aren't people, you risk really uh, alienating yourself even further with uh, from everybody else. Uh, in particular, because this no this abstract notion of the of a person as the general public, you're providing a lot of the context for it. You're deciding the boundaries for it, and you no longer get the kind of correction that most people get when they interact with other people. And we need that, or at least we get weird without it, because ordinarily. I think at least in a healthy society or family or whatever, when you start to get a little full of yourself or when you start chasing uh, excessively abstract ideas, stuff like that, you need a little pushback. You don't necessarily need to be pushed to abandon these ideas, but you can moderate them when you have people around you that can just 
just perform, uh, provide that kind of pushback. You don't get that when you have abstractions of of a person rather than real people around you, or at least you might not get enough of it. Um, so those are some of the dangers of fame. Um, anyhow, these are just random. I'm not really moving towards a point here. Uh, I just thought that it would be interesting to do some amount of recording of uh, just some of these random ideas and maybe in the hopes that anybody who listens might uh, might grab onto some of the, these ideas and take them somewhere new and interesting for them. Anyhow, that's what I've got. Bye-bye.